so I am doing the brat style challenge, which I'm sure you guys are so sick of seeing. I decided to recreate one of Hextian's doll repaints. I will link him down below. I tried to make it like as close to his like face as I could. I didn't have like a wig that I could put up in a ponytail or an outfit that was remotely like as awesome as the outfit that he put his doll in. But I tried to style it like a brat style. Anyway, the first thing I did was I put the Smashbox primer on my face, the Makeup Forever Pore Minimizing Primer, and the Mattifying Primer. And then I'm sketching out the eyes. So I've done this makeup once before, um, and this time it was significantly easier. I'm trying to, I'll link that tutorial down below, by the way, but I'm trying to make this look more like brat style. When I was doing that, I was just trying to make like big ass, realistic sort of kind of eyeballs. Um, but yeah, so I'm just sketching them out with the NYX White Eyeliner. And I made them kind of almond shaped, I think. And I'm basically starting them where my eye ends and then ending them where my eye bags end. Does that make sense? I think so. So then I'm putting the uh, Kat Von D white out concealer on my eyes and blending it out. To set that white, I'm taking the Morphe James Charles palette. I'm taking the white eyeshadow and I'm just putting it all over my lid. I figure I'll mention this, my eyebrows are glued down. I think it's kind of obvious, but you, you never know, maybe you don't know, you know? Um, for foundation, I'm using the Krylon TV Paint Stick in Ivory. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this foundation it feels terrible on your face, but it works so well for these types of looks. For concealer, I'm using the uh, MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour. It's a new one, it's so good, but I am putting this in all the areas where you would highlight, but obviously I'm taking my under eye highlight like a little bit farther down, because um, my eyeballs are farther down, you know? But then I'm blending it out with the beauty blender. I figured I needed an even more intense highlight, so I am taking the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer and White Out, and I'm just putting that, again, everywhere. I want this look to look very, like, sharp um, and intense, so that's why I'm, like, extra highlighting with the White Out, and I'm also going to be, like, doing a whole lot of contouring later. This is the Makeup Forever Contour Kit. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll have it listed down below. I'm taking the darkest shade from it, and I am just contouring my cheekbones, which is just like diagonal lines down from my ears, and then I'm flicking lines going up, and then I'm doing like kind of a V shape on my nose and blending it out with a stipple brush. To set all that, I am using the Laura Geller Balance in Brighten in Porcelain. I'm just tapping it all over my face because it gives me more coverage that way. And I am uh, baking with the Becca Brightening Powder. So I'm taking the Viseart Editorial Brights Palette and I am starting on all these eyeballs. So I'm sketching out where I want my cut crease to start basically um, and I'm just making sure that it's even. I'm doing this with a lighter blue color and then I'm taking Playground from the James Charles Morphe palette and I'm just packing on that blue, making sure it's like nice and pigmented. Once that's all packed on, we blend. Once that is blended to my liking, I'm taking the darker blue shade from the Viseur palette and I am just deepening up that uh, cut crease. And then we blend again. For brow bone highlight, I'm using the white from the James Charles palette. I wanted the brow bone highlight to be even more intense, but I just could not achieve the like blindingly white brow bone highlight that he has on his doll. I tried though, you guys. Um, but then I'm doing the eyebrows, so I'm just putting in the shape of them with the black from the James Charles palette. And I'm sketching in the shape and then I'm filling them in with the black. And I did the eyebrows a little bit different than his doll is. You guys will notice I took some like artistic liberties with this just because I can't help but insert my own style into things. Um, and then, yeah, I made like hair-like strokes with the NYX Epic Ink Liner, which his doll doesn't really have. Um, and this is the Kat Von D Locket concealer in white out and I'm cutting my crease. With Brother from the James Charles palette, I am blending that into the white on my eyelid. 
Once I get done placing that on the outer portion of my lid, I am taking the white from the James Charles palette and I am placing that on the white part of my eyelid. I wanted to get that crease line even more defined, so I took the black from the James Charles palette and I just like drew a line on my crease. It made it pretty intense and sharp. Now on to painting the eyes. So I took the Mayron Paradise paints, I took the white and I'm painting the white of the eye. And then once I get done painting that part, I took the light blue from the same exact palette and I painted the iris of the eye. I took some pink paint and I gave myself a waterline as well, which is doll doesn't really quite have. It has like a black defined line um, where the waterline would be, which looks great, but I kind of, I don't know, I like painting waterlines. So again, this is another area where I took artistic liberty. Um, but yeah, then I also uh, sketched out the outline of the eye with dark blue paint. And now we're gonna do the intense intense cat eye which I'm doing with the Makeup Forever ink liner and it feels so strange because I normally like like little baby little baby wing this is like my whole eyeball wing With the black from the James Charles palette, I gave myself a pupil and I wanted like a blended pupil. I didn't want one that's just like a black circle. So that's why I did that with eyeshadow. And then I outlined, like gently outlined the waterline of the eye with the black. Um, and then I added a little bit of brother like near where the pupil is on the upper part of the eye to give it a little bit more shading. Taking my Very Love Sephora watercolor palette, I'm taking the light blue and peach from this palette and I am shading in the white of the eye and then I took the white from the James Charles palette and I'm adding that to the white of the eye just to get a better blend in that area and I also added some to the iris to kind of brighten it up. And this is the Viseart palette, I took the dark red and I'm shading in my waterline. With the NYX Epic Ink Liner, I am outlining my waterline a little bit more and I'm also giving myself some lashes on that bottom lash line. To do the lashes, when you do lashes, do not make them like just stick straight down. I've seen that a couple times and it looks a little crazy. Make them like a little bit curved. With black from the James Charles Morphe palette, I am just adding a little bit of shading to the top part of the white part of my eyeball. Now we're on to my favorite part, which is highlighting. So I took my cream palette, my Eye Magic cream palette, took the peach from it, and I'm highlighting the waterline with that, and then we're taking the NYX uh, foundation mixer in white, and I'm adding the first stages of white highlights to the eye, so I'm bringing them into the iris, adding some on top of the iris, and also to the waterline. Now for my baby, this is the NYX White Liquid Liner. I'm basically adding this to all the places that I put the foundation mixer, um, but less, like not quite as intense. This is just for those extra pops of highlight. This doll has a contour on it, it's intense. So I took the Balm Bronzer in Greg and I just really packed it on and I put down a piece of paper to give me like an extra sharp contour. And then I added some blush, which this is an elf blush, it's like a peachy color. Um, and I just put that like all over my cheeks and on my nose. This is Fenty Beauty's uh, Kilowatt Highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I'm putting this all over the place. Brow bone, cheekbones, nose, I'm just dusting it all over.
with NYX's white eyeliner. I am sketching on the lips so the lips are very big and they're also slightly open. Um, so my bottom lip, I'm just creating like a V shape to show that they're open. And I also sketched on the band-aid that's on my nose. So this doll has a band-aid on its nose because it's a tweevil from the Bratz world. I know nothing about Bratz, uh, but apparently they always have like nose jobs or something. So that's why there's a band-aid on my nose. Um, but yeah, so I'm painting it in white with my Mayron paint. To fill in the lips, my giant ass lip shape, I took the Maybelline Superstay Ink Matte Liquid Lipstick in Dreamer. Um, and I just, oh, this felt so gross. <laughs> like just putting lipstick that far up your upper lip, like right underneath your nose just does not feel good. It feels really heavy. Um, but yeah, it was really easy to fill this in though because of the applicator, so points for that. To shade in the Band-Aid, I took a combination of Benny and T. And I basically just like outlined the band-aid and like shaded around it so it looks like it's sitting on my face. With the NYX white liquid liner, I'm just adding a highlight to the band-aid so that it looks like it's more 3D. And I also added some little white dots to like the white puffy part of the band-aid. You know what I'm talking about? You know they have like a little dotty texture there? That's what I did. And now we're adding lashes. So for the top lashes, I actually put on two pairs of lashes like right next to each other because my eyeball is so big. And I also put on some bottom lashes, which were just like some individual Daiso lashes that I had. So this doll has like very, very defined outline lips. So that's what I'm doing. So I am taking the Joa lip liner. It's like a red lip liner. And I am just outlining my lips. I think this is kind of like a Bratz style thing. I feel like when I see them, I've seen a lot of them recently because everybody's doing this challenge. They have like very outlined lips. I decided I wanted like a more like pinky shimmeriness to my lips so I took frosting from Lime Prime's 10th anniversary palette and I just tapped it on my lips. And then I took, uh, what is it, Elf Prismatic Lip Gloss in Rose Quartz and I put that all over my lip shape and it felt just very uh, unique <laughs> because I was putting it basically on my upper lip, like my upper upper lip, like right underneath my nose. Um, and yeah, that's the finished look. So I will link Hextian down below. You should check out his dower paints. They're fantastic. Let me know what you guys think about this challenge. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe. It makes me happy. And I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Bye.